Hello everyone, myself and Phil are back stomping again. We're walking between two reservoirs, Butterley Reservoir in Derbyshire, over to Codner Park Reservoir, which is, I think is just about in Derbyshire still, isn't it? Border. Close to the Nottinghamshire border. Both were built in 1794. They were built to feed the Cromford Canal. But this walk, hopefully, should have a bit of everything. We've got a heritage railway, we've got some disused railways, um, we've got the two reservoirs, we've got the Cromford Canal, we've got a couple of collieries, yeah. all in the space of basically a couple of square miles. So we'll get stomping and we'll see what random things we can find. to stop meeting like this and then I'll buy the fifth time it's just awkward. Okay this is part of the Midland Railway Centre so this is Butterley Station it's not actually Butterley Station it was Whitwell Station but they moved it brick by brick. Okay so we're walking around the edge of Butterley Reservoir this is the Midland Railway right next to us kind of just goes straight through the middle of it but Phil was saying that it used to be wooden um, but now it's all it's all stone and pretty solid. Beautiful views. I know you can make out the A thirty eight, yeah. My god, I can hear the motorway from my house, it just hums away twenty four hours a day. This reservoir was built for the Cromford Canal, like I say, 1794. So that was William Jessup and Benjamin Outram that built that, built this. Those names, if you've watched any of my other videos, they come up all the time. And uh, Josiah Jessup, who was William Jessup's son, he comes in later and was responsible for a lot of the sort of gang roads and, and canal linking railways and stuff. There's loads of um, different roads and stuff in, in Derby and Derbyshire named after him because they're obviously really key, key figures in the Industrial Revolution. Okay, up onto the line. So this was the line then that went on to Ambergate, didn't yeah, it? Yeah. Ambergate through uh, Pentridge Colliery, which is over the other side of there. There's still some buildings left of that. And then there's a tiny spit you can't see at the end of that platform that bears left into a buffer that's overgrown. You really have to rummage for it. That's the start of the left-hand turn that then climbed up into Ripley and then went on beyond to uh, Ear and Derby. Oh yeah, yeah, and to Kilburn and Little yeah, and all, all that, that stuff. Yeah, that's right, yeah. yeah. So this little place here is called Hammersmith and that little platform that you could just see then that's a, a brand new station basically built for the for the heritage line here but this was linked to the the dam busters so the lad that was you know inventing the, the bouncing bomb his name escapes me I'll google it and put it on but he uh, he was from Hammersmith um, for people unfamiliar with with the bouncing bomb that's what they were using to uh, to destroy basically um, dams and stuff that were held by the Germans in the Second World War. Um, he's got a plaque um, on a house just in Hammersmith, I think. I've never thought to bring the kids down here, you know. I really should. They'd absolutely love it. Feeding the ducks. Right, so Phil says this is where this valve house is that takes water, or rather took water, out of this reservoir and in to the Cromford Canal. It's quite a few steps down. This canal was massively important all the way from Cromford Wharf. So you had Arkwrights, you know, factories and stuff, and then you had all the lead coming out of Worksworth as well, which is just up the hill from there. And then it went all the way through here, you got Butley Works and over then to Langley Mill. Look at that. It kind of is creepy in a weird kind of way, isn't it? Yeah. Especially at some times of year, you've got like a haze coming out of it. It's, you know, really eerie. Oh, man. It must be cold, I think. Is it getting cold? It is cold down here, yeah. Yeah. So if you can get in there, which you can't. You say people try and look over the top. Sometimes you have people shining the torch in to see what there is, but it's basically just a bit of a corridor. I'm not quite sure what it turns into once you get in there. 
do have that job of actually letting the water out into the canal. Yeah, right. It's quite a climb up there to the to the edge of it. See, when the canal was built in 1794, you didn't have the railways. So they were shifting like 300,000 tonnes of gear up and down the canal every single year. And basically in a click of a finger when the railways came, overnight, they went down to 45,000 tonnes, which is still a lot, but it's, it's nowhere near the 300,000 tonnes. And unfortunately this tunnel that goes underneath this reservoir, it collapsed. And once that collapsed, with the losses that they were obviously going through in terms of revenue they called it a day they couldn't afford to fix it so then that was the end and the Cromper canal was severed so we're in wastelands now basically that's an old track bed to the butley works which we will be walking along in a minute and this is an air shaft in to the Cromford canal oh i'm trying to get you up here Try and show you down. I'm not gutted there's a grill there to be honest, because my luck. Go on then. Ready? So, we'll be here a plot. There's a tree there though. Okay. Yeah. It's dry. Dry, dry at the bottom. It's been a few years, hasn't it? Yeah. Ooh. So you're saying this was all sided? It was in, in previous times, yeah. Um, and then it was developed for, for some spray shops that were connected to Butler that used to come down and spray a lot of the huge girder bridges before they went out on site. They used to come down here for shop blasting. Got you. So we're going to have a walk um, in a bit. We're going to see some of what was the, the Butterley works. And with a lot of these sites that we go to, they kind of closed in the 60s and 70s and sometimes even earlier than that. But this one, I mean, I don't know the exact date of closure. I think it was a gradual decline, you were saying, weren't yeah, you? But yeah, I think it finally shut up in 2009. But the um, the Spinnaker Tower, for, for anyone um, that I know, like from the Isle of Wight, like I am, um, will know the Spinnaker Tower. It just, you know, over Portsmouth and it just kind of dominates the skyline. That was built here um, for the for the millennium. Cannon Street, St Pancras, Falkirk Wheel. The Falkirk Wheel was here? Falkirk Wheel was built here, yeah. After I'd left. But yeah, it came from here, mate. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. So I knew St Pancras because actually there's some new housing estates on the, on what was the, the works, and one of them's called St Pancras Way. A driver, or two or three drivers came down with the locals to save the collars down here, so. I mean, the bridge they have to get under up here is so small. There must have been restrictive cabs. It must have been because it's a small bridge. I used to go under it when I worked here with a tractor, and I used to have to measure what I was taking down to be sprayed, or it wouldn't, you know, get under this bridge. There's a cat. We're following a cat. Wow. Right. So there's a bridge under here. Um, Phil was saying it's dead low, but I don't know if we can actually get to it. But I've driven over that road so many times. I had absolutely no idea that there was a, a bridge there. Yeah, this is, a, this is a bit, it's a bit spicy, but you see the light through there. That's the, the road going over the top. For fans of um, Harry Potter, you know, we talk about King's Cross Station. Yeah. The station they always show is St Pancras. And it's a real bugbear of mine. Well, when sitting there so close to each other, you, 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 your vision would be drawn to the most attractive one, obviously. St Pancras Hotel's amazing structure. Oh, isn't it's it? incredible, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that always annoyed me. Look at these beautiful buildings. Proper old, these ones. So where do we go? Do we go up the hill? Up the hill is Ripley. So if, uh, just, you know, to give people some sort of um, geography. Yeah, and that bridge that you never saw, well, it's just behind the house, is it? Believe it or not, where them trees are on that flag, that used to be a fire station. Mostly company fire station, yeah. Really? Yeah, could you imagine they put two little tender engines in that little tiny s s space there? Got you. So which way are we going? Up the hill? Yeah, yeah, we're going that way. Going this way, yeah. okay. Me and Phil were just talking about this uh, this old video. You were saying as well, like it's so old, you wouldn't have realised they had cameras even back then. No. But of taken from up the top of that hill there, showing oh, yeah. all the people coming out of this this Butterley Works.
So these buildings are listed, these, these really old ones. A lot of other stuff's gone obviously, but you can just see the kilns. They're embedded. I'm assuming they've got to be listed as well, the yeah, kilns. Yeah, that's they? the old shower block, I think, that is there. And the tunnel is actually there, look. We've just seen it, look. That bridge is there, look. Oh, so this is where the tracks came yeah, in. that's where it came up. We just was to the side earlier. That's, that's it coming up, look. And the track came up here and it went to a gradient, but it's been redeveloped. Right. Oh, look, yeah. Track straight up straight through, through that, and into this huge site. I mean, it's massive. And uh, it climbed right up, sort of dead straight pan up there. A line went straight up there and went into another bridge right on the corner of the coach road. Uh, another track, but yeah, they wanted two tracks all flying around here. Yeah. And yeah. for me, to be honest, standing here is a bit like looking at Chernobyl. That's like, you know, I worked here and I, I can make out what everything is and what it was. And it's just weird for me because it's just, just a jungle. Yeah, it's there. all gone, yeah. yeah. Phil was saying there was a underground wharf, so there was a tunnel down to an underground wharf where it opened up in the Cromford Canal. Yeah, basically the canal opened up to what I forgot the name of it. They called it the, the wide, something wide. They called it, and it was an area where boats would stop, take some set supplies off, and then hoist it up to ground level up here. I don't know what materials they used. There is pictures that exist of it. Um, it's bizarre to think that they would, but you know, one day did what they had to do. Didn't they? just they could engineer anything, couldn't they? Yeah. I bet they couldn't do it now. That's the crazy thing. Too much hassle these days, isn't it? Right. So this is a picture that Phil's got from Britain from above, isn't it? Yeah. So? yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So where have we been then? So we went. Um, well, we've walked around the res, haven't we? We've come back up. We looked at that valve house in there. We had a quick look where I told you the uh, shaft for the, we had a quick peek over the shaft, I can't quite make it out on here, but as I said, look, you can see all the siding is all fanning out, and then the company single line there, look, we walked along there as far as we could go, and then we couldn't get under, do you remember, because it was yeah, all, the tunnel and then we've come bridge. back round here, and now we're sort of here, and we're going to start, we're going to head off beyond now, and, well, you know, it's a, it's a good picture. It's a great picture, yeah. So there was a lot going on then at the top level up there. Yeah, all sorts. I mean, this now from this is all ours estate. This actually is taken before uh, quite early because there's a lot of this, ex all this area here was taken up by Butterley Company officers and there was more sidings put in eventually. So this is quite old, I would say, 40s or 50s maybe. Right, so the railway line went straight through where that wall is. That's right. So I don't know about you, Phil, but I'm not going to try and scale that. Okay. So we're going to get into this housing estate, Cromford View. Um, hopefully there might be some remains on the other side of it. Uh, just hiding in the trees. So that would have been, you say 60s you reckon? It's old, isn't it? Yeah. Some of you that watched our last video might have noted that there are some drone shots of Butterley Reservoir. My drone is still, you know, on the surgeon's table, but Gabe lent me here, so thanks Gabe, appreciate that. So we've got to the top. There's the housing estate. It did go through there. Phil's just Hawkeye spotted. There is a bit of track remaining. You said this was a level crossing and you used to drive across it? Yeah, me or any of the other drivers or whatever, whoever's on duty that day used to take the train across. There was sidings here. See, Phil has got a comparison shot. So there's that embedded in the road. These are pictures you took yourself, Yeah, they? I took it when I worked here. So that's the guys taking some bridge gear to either, I don't know where it's going to be honest, but just as that spot there, look, that you can see the track embedded and there he is going yeah. across. There wasn't really them gates as such, we never used to put them down, we just used to make sure there were no traffic coming and then they just drive it across. Well then, so look the other way, let's make another one. So there we go, we've got a Hyundai, but it was. There you go. Look at that. How things change. We're now walking a little bit closer towards Codner Park Reservoir. There was a line that shot off to what's now the Midland Railway. Phil's saying the, the line went right here yeah. to, to Ripley Colliery. Yeah. So we're going to see what remains we can find of, of some collieries. Okay, so we're actually going to be going that way in a minute. Yeah. But this was the Yeah, the we're track. getting down to track the level almost now. But... All right, I think we're at the end of the line. I'm not seeing a buffer. I feel like the buffer in, in Kirk, yeah, Kirk B no was like support. a gateway drug. There's no track either, so it's a bit, they lifted quite a bit of it and yeah. wherever the track starts, so it'll just be around there somewhere. But you can see, look, the ballast, it's all yeah. track there, isn't it? Yeah, so that's into Swanwick Junction. 
Okay, so this was the track bed of a private Butterley line that came round. Yeah. yeah, you can make out how it turns around that corner, can't yeah, you? Yeah, it was a short bed and it goes under the coach road and the bridge is still there, so you'll see that in a minute. So there's a few collieries in this area. We're going to find one with some remains, a uh, western colliery, uh, which lasted just a handful of years, didn't yeah. it? But, it? but it's got um, a headstock still there because the Britain colliery, which uh, was opened in 1827, ran till about 46, 1946, I think. Yeah. That one was still open and they used this shaft that we're going to try and find now as um, ventilation. So this western colliery became known as Western Fan and that was why because essentially it was acting as a fan I guess um, but there are some remains still there so that'd be cool if we can find that. So we're on the road now this is called Coach Road the Butterley Tunnel the Butterley um, Tunnel through the uh, of the Cromford Canal is in a field over there so we might be able to hopefully see a shaft another shaft in a second a ventilation shaft um, but Phil was saying obviously because horses obviously couldn't go through the the, um, the tunnel you would have people called leggers that would basically lie on the back. It must have been terrifying because it's about three kilometers along this tunnel. Would lie on their back and basically walk like that, walk with a canal boat, just insane, all the way down to the other end of the tunnel where they would meet up with the horse again. And Phil was saying that's why, potentially why this is called Coach Road because it's, it's, the horses would have to walk up this way to rejoin the canal to make sure I don't get run over. So this just looks like a bump in the road. But apparently it's a ah oh, yeah there you go yeah it's that one we just looked at that really overgrown track bed earlier the line over to cut to Ripley uh, Ripley Colliery yeah so this is an old colliery branch and you wouldn't know Yeah, if you look over there, you'll say that's narrow, it ain't. it's just the buttress area, the bridge, it just spans further this way a little bit. Look. Right, right, oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you can see it's, it's a lot bigger. Yeah, the main spans there, look. I'm not even going to bother going over there, see if the arch is still there. Unless I want to get there from there. Yeah, that is overgrown. If you're driving past, you'd just miss that, wouldn't you? Yeah, this side, I'm quite prepared to have a quick look. Without getting killed. I, I would imagine this arch is, yeah, this is all intact. It's still there, yeah. Actually, there's a structure here, a line side cabin or something. Then you'll get down. You can't quite get up track level, but you can see the two leaves. Right. right, we've got a can of Stella. As long as that's all we've got though, because the lady was out. Just uh, warning me about some of the people that knock about down here. You under there. Can you see that bridge? Can you make out that bridge? Not with great ease. Just take my word for it. Right, we're in the middle of a field at, at the minute. So, where are we, Phil? Uh, yeah, I know this ain't brilliant to pick up on your camera, but uh, we've come down the coach road as far as here, and then we're just going to dive down this path and this section here, and then buildings you can just see there the white building. They obviously had a former use. Uh, that's kind of the end of the shunt sidings coming out of uh, Britain, Britain Colliery, Britain which Colliery, lasted yeah. the longest out of the three. Just They just had a bit of a uh, head shunt down there and we can just go down there now. Alright, let's go have a look. So Britain Colliery went in um, 46, excuse the wind, went in 46. Um, so there's nothing left of that one annoyingly. That's um, on what is now the Midland Railway Centre. Yeah, Sonic Junction, yeah, basically. Yeah. It's the narrow gauge railway that they built on top of the side. It's quite a nice one, actually. Quite a like a circular one. It's very well executed. Got you, got you. So, so yeah, there's a model railway on it now, a miniature railway. Sorry, um, but this head shunt is still there, so we're going to try and find that. And then what we'll do is we'll find the site of Western Fan um, Colliery, which is a, a much older one that basically didn't last very long at all, like seven years or something ridiculous. But that has still got some remains. Yeah, I have got shorts on, Phil. Mate, what is wrong with me? So what's funny is I actually had um, tracky bottoms on and then it, it got hot and I thought, oh no, I'll just wear shorts. It's become a thing now, mate. I'll just wear shorts and get you stung. You need to look what I've got on when you get out of the car and then just do the same. To dress accordingly, yeah. I'll bring, I'll bring a, a suitcase with me next time with a bunch of different outfits. I need a hazmat hat. I need a hazmat suit, I think, for this one. I will learn eventually. Those shorts are not a good idea. 
Are they right? Is that the actual both side of the track there then? Let's have a look. So there's some track remains. It's just in the driveway of a house, isn't it? Like you wouldn't think, but it's still, still there. The, the edge of, isn't it? Yeah, and that's the other side. Bizarre, I didn't realise it's rear. Yeah. I think that's quite a way as well. There you go, but then going to someone's house. So. There's a bit of random rail remains for you. Um, I was saying to Phil, the only reason I know that's there is because I was driving and not concentrating and ended up going down that way accidentally instead of down here. And um, my wife was like, you're on a goosey, aren't you? I was like, yeah, I'm on an absolute goosey. But then I spotted the um, the track and I was like, well, it's worth it, isn't it? You tried to press your missus with it and she wasn't impressed. No, I, I, I still point stuff out all the time. See, it used to be a viaduct. And she's there like, oh, wow. Not bothered, but she humours me and that's cute. Okay, so and then we come skirt around the edge of, of uh, Midland Railway Centre. So I came here once with my little one and um, I didn't want to go on a train. I basically just wanted to go and have a look around the workshop at the engines and stuff. And I was, I was walking around just trying to pay someone. And everyone I went to was like, excuse me, where do I pay? Because obviously it's, you know, it's basically like, you know, a charity in a way. Like, so they need the money to, to maintain engines and everything else they've got there. Who can I pay? Oh, I'll go and speak to that guy. Speak to that. He didn't end up paying no one. Just no one would take any money off me. So we just walked around all these old engines and stuff for free. We can see the old Western colliery now. Look at that. It's going a bit out of focus with the fence. I'll try and get a bit closer and, um, and get some decent. There we go. I'm going to put you through the fence now. Look at that. There's an old headstock and everything. I've never seen a, a headstock like that before. Which basically just looks like a like a a ventilation shaft with a with a penny farthing stuck on the top. I mean that one we looked at a few weeks ago down at uh, Brinsley. That one I bit of an eye for, wasn't it? But that that's really weird. Look at that ladder going up. You think Fred Dibner has been up there? <laughs> so there's even some winding gear at the bottom there. Look at that little motor. That's a that's a beautiful. I do love red brick buildings like that. But what's mad is like, obviously the roof's had it, but the door's left open, so those horses in the distance, they can just walk in there, can't they? Maybe that's their house. Well, this used to be a little kid's farm. It's got a Richard Pitt farm. It shut back 10 or 15 years ago, because no one could afford to keep it going. Really? So all the kids that are probably in the late, late teens, 20s now, about any money they came here, there was llamas and all sorts here. Oh, awesome. That's it, when it got shut, and now someone's used it as a, a paddock. Right, 1852, that was and it lasted about seven years. But it's still here. And the bigger pit that lasted into the 40s is now long gone. Yeah, we've even got a, uh, a wooden sleeper with its little chairs sat on it. Just discarded in a field with some horses. And there's loads of stuff discarded, look at that. It's just a signal. Just chucked loads of different stuff. There's some sleepers and different beams and things. That's mad that though, a big signal. Ah, there's a full oh. gantry, look what I'm looking at here. That's oh wow. Where, that's where you stand on at the top look. That's the signal, there's the arm going down that it got into the ground. And the frame's still, still there look, yeah. That's, I, I recognise it now. I wonder where that's from. Well, it's a uh, slight bit of a dumping ground from the middle of the railway centre where they used to keep storage, but this has just been forgotten about, hasn't it? At once upon a time, it would have it probably would had have pride of place somewhere. At one time, they just didn't bother. Yeah, they, they look like like hold up, like platform, or even a bridge. Yeah, they look like bridge stanchions. They look a bit too hefty for a... Yeah, for a canopy, yeah. You know, I might be wrong here. Just it's chucked. This looks like the old bottom works low low the distance. What are these things here? This is turning into a video on its own this house. <laughs> so much stuff. Yeah, what are you? That looks like it's from the top of maybe the top of a uh, of a roof. You know where they sit on top and they have that? Yeah, that 
Yeah, yeah.